level. This one we ain't seen in forever. The Purple Diamond. Purple Diamonds are good, dancing dolls are good. We're the two elite teams in Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, Kendra, you supposed to be over there. That's not supposed to look like that. I'm going to put your feet to the ground on this whole situation. The first step is for you to take towards ballet class right now. Back, side, frankly, side, and whoa! So this week, we're gonna do a creative dance. What we're gonna actually do is go swimming. There was a lot of drama going on with trying to get this pool situated before we got ready to start. No, don't push it underneath like that. I will pop a hole in it. I'd had enough of this for the week. I'm tired. Well, at least it feels good out here. Yeah, feels like we're still in L.A. Last week in L.A., I had the opportunity of meeting with some industry heavy hitters. I wish I could say those meetings went a little bit better, but they didn't. Nope, you have to land on the same leg that tucks. I definitely suggest doing more classes, more as a conditioning. Anyway, I'm home in Jackson, and I feel like my career is back at square one. Actually, doing the audition, I went in thinking, OK, jazz is not my strong suit, but I can try. Watching you through the window, and I was like, I see frustration on her face, so now I'm getting nervous. The audition in LA, I felt like she was drowning in there. And as her mother, I just wanted to rush in and save her. But at this point in her career, she has to be the one that's in charge. But I am overwhelmed. It's like, where do I start? I know there's always room for improvement, but maybe a little bit more room than I thought. But I'm serious about this, so I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get to the next level. Let's sit down with Diana, ask her what does she suggest. Just making sure we're going in the right direction. Yeah. But in this right direction, we need to get to the one more, one more mile around here. <laughs> well, yeah, keep going. Y'all made it back. Ain't nobody got jet lag. Well, here go the jet lag. Y'all yeah. happy to be back in y'all seats, though. Yep. But my knees hurt, my back hurt. <laughs> I'm tired. I've been walking. I don't want to be in nobody else's hotel room. Don't get me wrong. L.A. was a great experience for the dogs, but there is no place like home. All right, girls. As we approach Broadway Dance Center auditions, which are next week. I hope you guys have prepared. I hope you have whatever you're deciding that you're going to wear together, because I'm not in it. You're on your own. It's the week before Broadway Dance Center, and as the girls are continuously preparing for the audition process, we still have to compete. All of these challenges and competitions and creative dances are preparing the girls for their audition. All right, so I want to make sure that you guys are taking Tori's classes to brush up on all of your technique and choreography, because <laughs> Who was that, Twinkle Toes? Thank you. Oh, y'all, make sure that y'all are in this class seriously to brush up on your choreography because you're seriously on your own. Going into this week's competition, we have two categories. There's a mirror, mirror challenge category. Also, there's a creative dance category with the creative dance. While we were in LA, I was inspired by meeting Ashley Everett. Miss Ashley Everett is Beyonce's lead dance captain for the Formation Tour. All right, guys. So I just want to give you a little rundown of what I'm looking for. We start with our right leg. Left, right. We hit, hit, hit. So this week, we're going to do a creative dance, and I'm going to call it Beyonce 10.0. Now, this week's creative, the dancing dolls are doing a Beyonce routine. They've done this before, but I have had dreams about putting together another crazy Beyonce routine since the girls visited Beyonce's concert in New Orleans. Anybody that sees this routine is gonna lose their damn mind. We are going to take a journey through the Formation Tour, hit the corner and go down Beyonce's last album and bring it home with a little bit of water. What you've seen on Beyonce's Formation Tour, how she had the big pool of water at the end? What we're gonna actually do is go swimming. Oh, I'm a drown. I can't swim. Sorry. <laughs> so, who can't swim? Can't swim. Can't swim at it all. Oh, my gosh. We've never performed on water before. We could fall, have a concussion, drown. There's going to be a mixture of slow, 
heels, chairs, hats, water, majorette, hip hop. It's a mixture of everything throughout this entire creative dance. Everybody with me? Yeah! Hold up, this, hold up. <laughs> I know I didn't hear that. The girls gotta get in a pool for this creative. They must gonna have some little pool noodles. Cause Cameron don't do no swimming, baby. We don't get in no pool. Now she can float, she can float all day long. Now she gonna have to get really ambitious. They gonna have to get in formation and bring the lemonade and everything, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm excited cause y'all know I love Beyonce creative. This ain't about you, fool. This week's rivals. Elite stars of Nashville. Oh, now y'all had fun with Tyrus. Yes. Yeah. There's a new queen in town, baby, and I can't you shut it down. <laughs> Last but not least, one we ain't seen in forever. The Purple Diamond. The Purple Diamonds are a big rival for the Dancing Dolls, and because both teams are in Jackson, it's always been the who's better than situation. Purple Diamonds are good, Dancing Dolls are good. We're the two elite teams in Jackson, Mississippi, and we're gonna let them battle it out. No Purple Diamonds bring a lot of energy. Purple Diamonds have a lot of attitude and sass. I don't know what their creative dance is gonna be, and I really honestly don't care. I'm focused on you. So we got stars and diamonds. Stars, diamonds, and dolls. Stars, diamonds, and dolls. Stars, diamonds, and dolls. Stars, diamonds, and dolls. Hey. One, two, three, four, get it up. Six, seven, eight. Big moves. Five, six, seven, eight. Stop, stop. Y'all know this is the first time in a very long time that we have gone up against the Dancing Dolls, okay? So the last time we went up against them, we did not win. Well, the Dancing Dolls and the Purple Diamonds are Jackson's biggest rival team. So it is very, very important for us to come home with the win because the last time that we went up against them, they won. So you know what? It's our turn. Turn. When people see Purple Diamonds, they already know they're going to come with a lot of precision and a lot of energy. And they love to put on a show. So when they get out there this week, I expect nothing but that from them. Up, two, three. My girls have what it takes. We're going to get out there on that floor, and we're going to bring that trophy home. Let's get it! Ashley. This is Beyonce's actual choreography that Miss Ashley taught us. So because we're doing a Beyonce theme this week, we're putting it in. When you think about a concert with Beyonce, what do you think? I think about lights, I think about costume changes, and a whole lot of creativity. So why would my Beyonce 10.0 routine be any different? The judges are not gonna even know what hit them. But we got a whole lot of work to do. Hey, I, I, hey, I, I, I. And y'all gonna be moving. Y'all will be moving into a straight line. So when y'all get to this part, y'all gonna be in a line together. Bye, bye. Y'all will be one line together. Y'all gonna have to come on with it. Can't have nobody slacking. I got to murder this. I am very excited to do the Beyonce routine, but we only won one creative dance the entire season. So this could either be wonderful or a disaster. We're just gonna have to see. We're on part one. You know I can't stop. And the girls just ain't giving it to me. I ain't feeling it. It ain't no way in here possible to have a Beyonce creative without sauce. She's the hot sauce, the barbecue sauce, you name the sauce. That is she, the B. One and three, pop and three, back, 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 three, eight. You don't dance full out. When you're going through, you should be dancing full out so you see what your body's gonna do. I'm telling y'all this and this, y'all like this. If this, this, your legs will still be out. Like I look like one. You'll never get booked for a job half-ass dancing. There are so many things that I still need to do to get this routine clean. The choreography has to snap and pop. And they're not doing that. The girls had better hit the door tomorrow ready to work. Y'all not doing enough. It's not enough. Hello. Hey, 
Hey, what's up? Kayla asked me to take some time to talk to her about her future as a dancer, and it's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately for her, too. Kayla's at a critical point in her life where she's got to make some tough choices. I'm really hoping that I can point her in the right direction, but honestly, the rest is up to her. I'm really curious as to what you've been doing to further your dance career. What other styles of dance have you been studying? I'm taking no dance classes right now. Well, why is that? Like, right now I'm in school, and it's kind of hard to go to school, come here, and make sure your grades stay up, but you also gotta be productive in here. In between school and working at the dollhouse, I don't have much free time to pursue my dreams and work on my dance career. So basically, I'm at the point in my life where I'm feeling stuck. Right, well, I mean, I feel like, I'm, I'm glad you said that, because you, to me, I feel like you've kind of been coasting. What are your plans, or what do you want to do? When you're ready to go, go. You're comfortable, and you're coasting, and I can't accept that. Coming up. You I guess you up in my house now. You ain't gonna do a damn thing just like your child ain't doing in the house. And later. Wait, wait. Swing the bottom back. To me, I feel like you've kind of been coasting. Kayla's at a critical point in her life where she's got to make some tough choices. I'm really hoping that I can point her in the right direction, but honestly, the rest is up to her. You've just been coming to practice, and you're settling for just being an after-school coach. You're not being assertive like you Like, I know that you can. Because when you were captain of the team, there was no issues. You may not feel like it, but you have a gift. And you may not see it all the time, but you don't use your gift. You have suppressed it. You're comfortable, and you're coasting. And I can't accept that. I've done as much as I can, and now she has an ultimatum. It's either you get your ass in gear by Battle Royale, or we're gonna have a problem, and her job is definitely gonna be in jeopardy. I do wanna take more classes. So I'm gonna have to just buckle down and hop on the ball with it. And I'm gonna put your feet to the ground on this whole situation. The first step is for you to take Tori's ballet class right now. Yes, Tori is loony damn tunes but he is good at what he does. I want you to get out there. Get into the world. Okay, do we agree? Yes. Go, go. Go ahead, step it up. The mirror, mirror challenge is about mirroring what your opponent is doing. Whatever she gives you, Makai, you gotta be able to take it and give it back. The Mirror Mirror Challenge is where two teams face off against each other, and one dancer throws choreography, and the other dancer has to mimic it as closely as they possibly can. Last time, the girls didn't win. I'm gonna give everyone a chance to see if anyone has stepped up since the last time we did this at practice. We wanna see Michaela go first. So the Mirror Mirror Challenge, you have to have some fire memory to do this because who can really look at something and say, okay, I got that. And I can do, either do it better or anything like that. Like, that's crazy. Okay, Faith and Cameron, let's go. I am super glad Faith is in this Mirror Mirror Challenge. Faith is an all-around dancer in every genre. With us going up against the Purple Diamonds this week in this Mirror Mirror Challenge, we have to make sure that I choose girls that are technically sound and those that can twist the Purple Diamonds upside down, literally. Purple Diamonds have some heavy hitters on their team and some really aggressive dancers. So we have to make sure that we have the best dancers out there on the floor representing our squad. I like Michaela and Makai. Yeah, they're like, they're both my picks. So it's Faith, Angela, Tanisha, and Kenjin A. All right, Makaya and Michaela, you have spots one and two. <laughs> and Tanisha gonna get that third spot. So between Tanisha, Makaya, and Michaela, we have a lot of variety. And this definitely is gonna be great for keeping the Purple Diamonds on their toes for the Mirror Mirror Challenge this week. Five. Six, seven, be aggressive. One, two, three, and snatch. Angela, you in the front. Why you all beat? You gotta make sure y'all step it up. You gotta do better than that. One, freeze. Three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, 
You have to stand like you mean it. You ain't scaring nobody. Can't depend on them. And then y'all forget what come next. We cannot spend the whole price with y'all. Fix the line. I want y'all to fix this line. I keep saying that. Fix the damn line. They have me nervous. They have me worried because their timing is off. And did I mention if the girls have to dance full out in the pool, in the water? This may be one of the riskiest things that I've ever done. But I've got to have time to work on it. Pretty sure Purple Dads will love to whoop y'all ass, I'm sure. I know that's why Diana probably screaming and hollering because they not giving her what she wants. It's Beyonce. Like, it's something like just should, should click, click. You. Well, speaking of Beyonce, I know she the Queen B, but I'm talking about Queen D. She gonna tell Kayla to take off Mr. Tory class. Uh, I'm like, really? Tory? I'm just trying to figure out what the problem is in it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean... You sat here yourself and said that Tori scratched the girls. I don't, Kayla needs scratch help. She need help. Them uh, folks at MSA did not say, Kayla, scratch. They didn't say but that. But we both was able to look in the window and saw that Kayla was the only one lacking in the ballet area. I'm starting to listen to Tina, and I'm noticing that she's not hearing anything. And the truth is, she needs the help. Get her the help. Get out your feelings and get her in some dance classes. You honestly feel like Kayla couldn't benefit from Tori at all. Kayla can benefit from ballet classes, not Tori. Tori is good at what he does. That is your it's opinion. It's not an opinion. That shit is a opinion. fact. When you stood in front of MSA, she was the, probably the least of the three. And that's the, that's the fact. Both of us lost. So what the, where do you get out with the least of the three? Faith is 16. Kayla is almost 20. You do the math. Who's closer to the dance grave? OK. Well, well me kid... saying that your child should be better, I don't even get what you mad for. What you riled up what? for? Riled up? Yeah, because what you, you riled up Because for? you got your facts up. That's no, why. the facts is That's why. Kayla is That's limited why. to what she do because you ain't letting her do nothing else. You have so a, I guess you in my house now. And then you got to be in my house now. You ain't going to do a damn thing just like your child ain't doing Telling me what Kayla should do, what she should go, and what she should be doing. I don't give a damn what your kid's doing. Kayla is gonna make decisions to do what Kayla wants to do. Y'all continue to run y'all kids' life. The truth of the matter is, Kayla needs some technique training. She don't have to get it from Tori. Thank I'm you. over it. Thank you. Come on, man. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Coming up. Wait, go! Watch out! We haven't practiced in the water yet, and I'm a little worried. And later, so the purple diamonds are back, and they are killing and smoking the floor up. All right, y'all, so you can stop stretching. Faith, Deja, will you go and get the bars pretty, pretty, please? Oh, are you seriously, like, coming to take class? No freaking way, oh my god. Look at you. OK, well, have fun, girl, because I'm about to whoop your ass. After what happened in L.A. and listening to Diana, I have realized I have to be a more well-rounded dancer. And even though Tori and I don't always agree, he does know a lot about dance. So maybe, just maybe, I could learn something from him. Y'all, we're going to start with Tondu's. Got it? OK, close. Close. Plie. Second one's front, back, front. OK, from there, roll through. Up, hold, heels down, up, roll through. Come right back, right hand, come right back, left, the end. Walking in here, I knew it was gonna be a challenge and all, but damn, can I get that again, Tori? And Tondu, close. I've got to say, I'm really glad to see Kayla here in class today. To be honest, you know, I'm a little flattered that she's came to me to take class because we don't always see eye to eye. She's really, really showing me that she's trying to become that professional dancer that she's always wanted to be. Five, six, seven, eight. Home bay. Back, side, frankly, side, and whoa, work. All right, everyone, first position. Other side, bow or curtsy. Thank you for coming to ballet class, y'all. Thank you. Kayla, so yeah, I'm glad that you came to ballet class. Yeah. You're like trying to become professional, right? Mm -hmm. Like professional dancer. Like the professional world is tough. Right now, this is Jackson, Mississippi. Right. That's a, it's a 
completely different ball game. I just think I need to do more outside of what I'm already doing. The ballet technique will really, really help you because you can dance your butt off, but once you just like get all that tight together, then you'll definitely be ready. So I'd like to invite you back, you know, scholarship you. You don't have to pay a thing and just come and dance your butt off and get better because I already saw the progress. I honestly believe that Kayla has what it takes to make it in the professional dance world, but she's got to want this bad enough. Just hoping that today's class is the first of many steps to take her where she wants to be. Coach Kayla came to ballet, y'all. You know you're liking what I do. Staring in your mirror, wishing you could do it too. Supposed to have a bucket, get one. It's the last day of practice, and I've done all I can to get the choreography together for the beginning of the creative and the middle. But we have not had a chance to finalize the choreography for the pool, nor get in the damn pool and actually start practicing. I have so, so, so many concepts as to how to make this all come together, but I've got to have time to work on it. You start to pour first, then she'll pour, then pour. It'll be like a ripple of water coming down. Unfortunately, we don't have time to put water in this pool and practice with it. I'm not putting water in this thing on the dance floor in my studio. That's a risk I'm gonna have to take at this point. Well, all I know is about damn time that they pull this pool out. I don't yes. care who's pulling it out. I mean, the competition is tomorrow. We should have had this pool out days ago. Yes. Are they even gonna put water in it today? You're not gonna tell me that the first time they ever do this is gonna be tomorrow. Please tell me we're gonna put some water in this pool tonight. They really need to try to do a full so out to see, see how, how much space, space they, they have. Baby, somebody gonna get kicked, hit, flop, I'm telling you, that water there. gonna flop in their face and they ain't gonna be able to see you. Well, I hate to be the one to say it. Either we gonna sink or we gonna swim. practice in the water yet and I'm a little worried because we don't know if the pool is going to be slippery. If we don't get this routine down packed, we may lose the purple diamonds. I have announcement as DDP president. I ain't apologizing for yesterday, but I did want to say it was taken like so far. You got your opinion and I know Kayla need help. I know she needs to start doing different things. That is going to happen. So just letting y'all know that and that's the moral of the story. That's it. I have never made decisions for Kayla and never will. Growing up, I didn't get a chance to make decisions that I wanted to make. So being a mother, that was my number one priority to let Kayla make her own decisions. And I am very proud that she didn't take this loss from LA and just sit around and mope about it. She's taking it and going forward. I know y'all was just trying to help me and I was. Oh, yeah, we all get like this. So I totally understand, so. Now we all need to just hug and make not. up. See, just like my little friend over here. Now you want to start another war. There's choreography that's missing. It's something there that's just simply not right. It's just not right. But I only have, what, an hour to figure it out? You have no room for error. Because if I told you to clean up your room before you left the house and you get back in the room and I get home and the room ain't clean, I'm gonna cut your ass out because I told you to do it before I left. The girls seem to be stressed the hell out because they got so much on their plate at one time that they're trying to remember and deal with. But it's a part of the game. And this is what we do as dancers, period. Get your ass up there and get it done. Should have to give y'all no speech or no lecture for y'all to do what y'all supposed to should do it anyway. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Coming up, Makai, you better serve your sister. I'm so sorry, but sister got to get it today. And later, listen! This is terrible. This thing pops. There's gonna be no pool. competition and I'm on edge for so many different reasons. Some of the girls still seem a little nervous and really unsure of themselves. And I really feel like the girls could potentially lose because we're not ready. Embodying Beyonce, channeling your inner fierceness and making sure that y'all bring it to the floor. Are you ready? All right, ladies, it's been a while since we've gone against our hometown rivals, the Dancing Dolls. 
But we are here to show them exactly what they've been missing, right? Yay! Now depend on y'all. Right. We're called the Purple Diamonds because we burn with a deep purple fire and we still shine like diamond. Today, I'm coming for you, Diana. So y'all ready to pump up? Our show is amazing. It's the bomb. Are y'all ready to kick some dancing dolls in Purple Diamonds' butt? Yeah! Y'all do? Y'all think y'all can handle that? Yeah! Coming into this competition today, I have mixed emotions because I don't have a clue what Cookie has up her sleeve today. I don't know what the dancing dolls are gonna do. She pulls out all kind of tricks and gimmicks, but at the end of the day, I'm not worried about the dancing dolls. I know the elite stars are gonna bring it. If you don't know, now If you don't know, now you know. Let's go. <laughs> Just watching practice, I was kind of unsure of how this is going to go today. With the water being in the pool, will the girls slip or not? That's what I'm talking about. I just want to know, because yeah. I don't know what they're going to have in the bottom of their feet. I don't know so Rennie suggests that everybody dresses up like Beyonce. So I'm feeling good right now, but we have not practiced with any type of water. I don't know how this competition is gonna turn out. It's just like, we're gonna give the Purple Diamonds and the Elite Stars of Nashville a win. Where is it? Miss Hi, girl! Diana, how are you? Well, look who it is here, the number two coach in Jackson, Mississippi. It's been a while, huh? Yes! Y'all ready for today? I'm excited about today. You know, we got this Mirror Mirror Challenge that's coming up mm -hmm. first, and the dolls have done this before. Well, Purple Diamonds have not done this before, but, but you know, you can get that second place. Oh, okay, if that's what you think. Shanika says we're gonna take home first place, and you can take home second. Okay, girl. So, See you on the pool, you honey. Play with these organs here. I'm gonna go get my girls together. Do that. Today's category for our competition is the Creative and Mirror Mirror Challenge. Make some noise! It's the Mirror Mirror Challenge, and Makaya, Michaela, and Tanisha are ready to go. Purple Diamonds have their dancers, and Elite Stars have their dancers. And I'm really hoping that my three girls are able to give and receive choreography so that they can win this challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, has been real tricky for us. So hopefully all the dogs can kill all the rest of the rival team choreography so we can win this time. It is now time to get round one started. DJ, are you ready? Let's get it! Let's go! I'm flying high, you gonna see me. You gonna see me in the sky. I'm flying high, oh, oh, oh. Spend my wings and I'm really excited now for the dancing dogs to get up there and go up against the Purple Diamonds so I can see what they got and they can definitely see what we got. My dreams take me high, I'm flying high, spread my wings, I got to travel alone. I fly over land, I fly over seas, even when the sky. Tanisha right now. She threw it right back at Purple Diamonds and she made it look easy. Sun is shining when it's raining. My head is up. I'm flying high. You're gonna see me. You're gonna see me. It is now time to go to our judges. The Purple Diamond. Purple Diamonds are victorious in our first round. The Purple Diamonds got the first round, but we need to win the next round in order to win this event. I'm a little nervous.
nervous right now because the Purple Diamonds used to be like one of the best teams in Jackson, just like the Dancing Dolls. So the Purple Diamonds are back, and they are killing and smoking the floor. Up. straight up lunatic. The elite stars are good. They're a great team, but they weren't better than the dancing dolls in the first round. We now move to our judges. Coming up. This may be one of the riskiest things that I've ever done. Something happens and it goes wrong, it's gonna be terrible. Throughout the Mirror Mirror Challenge, Dancing Dolls wasn't looking like nothing to me. I'm sorry, they was okay, but I really believe it's between the Elite Stars and the Purple Diamonds at this point. Dancing Dolls. <laughs> Dancing Dolls killed it. But I know we got one more round to bring it out. It's now time for the final round of our Mirror Mirror Challenge. Let's get it! Let's go! Get your body on the flow. Stop it if you want more. Jump in the water and roll. You go. It's about to rain, about to pour. About to overflow. Now give it to me. Let's get down, baby. Move it around. Hey, Let's get down, baby. Get down, baby. Get down, baby. Get down, baby. being that she's the last girl standing, we do not need her to play. I know Makaya, she's not gonna let the dolls down. Makaya, you better serve your sister. I'm so sorry, but sister got to get it today. and Makaya did an amazing job. I was very proud of what they put out there on the floor, but it's up to the judges. We will Makaya. announce our winner at the end of our trophy ceremony. It is now time for our creative dance category. It is now time for team one, the Purple Diamonds, to take the floor. Let's get it, let's go. some steep competition right now. They are showing different genres of dance. They started off with an African tribute, then they went into like a lyrical ballet tribute. And I'm like, who wouldn't know that their girls were capable of all these different styles of dance? Purple Diamonds came out here and they gave you everything in major red that you can possibly want. I'm a little nervous for the dolls, being that we saw bits and pieces of the creative this week and we never got to see the pool with water. I'm just hoping that everything can go through as planned. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to bring our second team to the floor. Coming from Nashville, Tennessee, the elite stars of Nashville. There's the culture swap, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring to the table. Yeah, everybody be alive, stay alive like this shit. You know when I make the mother fools is PC. PC, when I move, I light up like EC. I'm on the monkey boys going wild like I was very pleasantly surprised at the diversity in the choreography, the difficulty, the formation changes. And I'm like, well, all right, for using the Coach D handbook. Good job. They learned something from when I was there last. Living it up. What a life to live. I'm always living it up. Living it up. Living it up. One life to live. I'm never giving it up. I'm living it up. I'm living it up. One life. Those dogs are in for one tiny surprise. 
See my girls get out there on the floor and kick everybody's ass. But first, I got this big ass pool that I have to deal with. Yeah, open it up. Yeah, we need to unroll it. And we might need to move these four. We'll know once we unroll it. Dang. You know, I didn't think about bringing in this swimming pool, how much extra work this is going to be. You want to start blowing it up? No, we can't. It's not open. It's not open up all the way. The pool has got to get blown up. The pool has got to be pulled out to the floor by someone. There has to be water put in the pool by someone. I should have considered all of those things before I actually decided about dancing in a pool. It's got to go straight up. Wait, wait. Swing the bottom. Swing the bottom. Y'all, listen. So as the dolls are setting up for their creative, I'm looking like, OK, is that a bounce house or a jumping house? I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Swing the bottom back. Every time y'all push forward, it swings the bottom forward. The setup was terrible. Just looking at the preparation, like, oh my god. Nah, I'd had enough of this for the week. I'm tired. Hey, everything's a bad idea. Excuse me. Put that right there. There was a lot of drama going on with trying to get this pool situated before we got ready to start. No, don't push it underneath like that. Oh, you just wanted to get it close. Get it close. You will pop a hole in it. This is terrible. This thing pops. I swear. The girls are going to be dancing on the stage. There's going to be no pool. Girls, listen up. No matter what happens, you keep dancing. Do you understand? Yeah. No matter what happens, you keep dancing. Heads up. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to introduce our third and final team in our creative dance category. Here we are. It's time to dance. There are so many things that can go wrong with this pool, OK? This may be one of the riskiest things that I've ever done. If everything goes right, it's going to be amazing. But if something happens and it goes wrong, it's going to be terrible. Coming from Jackson, Mississippi, the dancing. and it's so together. They're really showing up today. When I see Star and Sky pulling out the pool, I have butterflies in my stomach. Like, oh, goodness. OK, here it comes. We've been waiting on this all week long. I be damned. She done pulled out a damn swimming pool. Who brings a damn swimming pool to a damn competition? Them girls work that while they even splashed on me, honey. It took me an hour and 45 minutes to put on this damn face while they slanging water on me. Uh-uh, Cookie, I don't have that shit, baby. I ain't nervous, the stage is mine. Superstar, beauty queen. Chasing after all my dreams. Go for gold, nothing less. Put your body to the test. I won't get that in my way. Watching the girls dance in the water and the girls dance around the water, I couldn't be more proud. There were a couple of slips, but the girls bounced up as if there were springs at the bottom of this damn pool, and they kept dancing. The visual from where I'm standing is amazing. As soon as we step in that pool, there we go. I'm like, 
Whatever happens, no matter if you fall, you better get your Beyonce on because if you stop, Miss Diana's going to kill you. Gentlemen, the dancing Beyonce 10.0 was a 20.0. It was amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put a lot of time and energy into this, and I'm wondering, did I make a mistake again? I don't know. Who are they going to give first place to and create it? Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to each of these athletes on the floor today. Our two categories were Mirror, Mirror, and Creative Dance. And the team victorious in our Mirror, Mirror Challenge is... From Jackson, Mississippi, the Purple Diamond. <laughs> goes to the Purple Diamond, and there's no way. Makaya was clearly the better choice, but again, with the judges, I don't know. And in today's creative dance for our Southern Slay It Dance competition from Jackson, Mississippi, the dancing Dance! with the dancing dolls this time and that's fine for now but you know what I don't coach to tie so dancing dolls get ready bring your A game because next time it's on thank you ladies and gentlemen until next time I'm your host Jake Fever let's get it let's go So y'all, congratulations on your win. You did a great job. I know y'all was slipping and sliding, but it was a good visual. The judges seemed to enjoy it. They said it was completely out of the box as far as the mirror mirror challenge. Yet again, I do not agree with the judges. Nothing we can do about that. We're going to keep continuing to be who we are now. DD. 4 a.m.